Chris and Rod, Rod and Chris, they play games and reminisce. Totally not gay gaming. Hey, we're back. We're back. We're still on this still trying fucking to solve puzzle. This. <laughs> God. Apparently, it's making Rodrigo really mad. We've been playing this for 24 hours. Yeah, since yeah. the last update. Yeah, and it's just like I'm you know what? Pissed. I'm sick of it. Fucking pissed. Headed with this dumb. God, that's it. We got no food. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Here we go, here Good we go. Job. Good job. Fuck you, little shadow boy. Oh! Yes! Take that, greenhouse gases. Ouch. Oh, ow. Ouch. Please don't make wow. me do that again. Please don't make me do that again. Well, I... Zoinks! Goob! <laughs> oh, oh, what? I hate this game now. What if I jump from up here? Yeah, it's not going to work, man. Check well, it. Maybe. It's, it's totally going to work. Check to the we rest now. Let's begin. Party on, party people. Let me hear some noise. Be the season in the house, jump, jump for joy. What are you talking Party over here. Party over Dude, that's well, totally maybe. my work. Maybe. Party over there. Wave your hands in the air, <laughs> shake your dairy air. Three's three words when you're getting busy. Woo! There it I'm is. I'm pretty sure they hit don't me. sing it with that intonation. Oh, they say, dude, they say, hit me. Woo! Yeah. There it is. Hit me. That's the Joker, I'm, dude. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure they don't sing it like that. I feel like you want me to stop with this little tangent, sure. but I'm not gonna. Here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. And fuck! Dang it! Why does it? I totally the had thing? something ready for that too. Uh, you know what? I, you, you know what I was gonna say? You're when gonna you hit say the glass? Uh, all you gotta do is I, I was, jump. No, I was gonna go. Woo! There it is. Hey, there you go. <laughs> oh, Chris! Oh, I was totally gonna say. Oh, Chris. It. Totally gonna say it. You should just, you should just. Oh come on! You know what? Come on! I believe in you, dude. What I is believe. going on? I believe. I believe. I believe. Dude, I was watching a uh, Shrek one. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Shrek four on TV the other day. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good movie. Dude. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's not too bad. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm kind of confused as to why you said it like that, but uh, yeah, I believe I, I, uh, it's been years. Shrek one, you say? No, no, no Shrek four. Four? Oh, four. Yeah. Really? It's, yeah, man. It's not bad. I'm glad you liked it, man. I, I worked on that uh, one the yeah. whole time through. Actually, that was probably my favorite experience at mm -hmm. DreamWorks. Was that movie? The director Mike Mitchell was, was fucking awesome. awesome. Yeah, dude. he was so fun to work with. Well, he actually gave a shit. He did, and he was funny. He had good sensibilities, man. He's just a funny guy. I just realized what I'm doing wrong. I just realized what I'm doing wrong. Cool. I got this. Because I think people at home are like, "Come on!" Yeah, check it out. But yeah, Mike Mitchell. Good guy. You know, I nice ran guy. into him. Um, at, Were you on uh, Shrek? I was. I was. Oh, and, uh, that's cool. Yeah, and it's funny because like I. I could tell just from watching him work that he was like, oh, this guy's an actual, like, shit. Shit. You got it. No, okay, I have to be facing the other direction when I jump, is my theory. Oh, I see, I see. Anyway, he, uh, I could tell, he was like, wow, this guy actually is trying to make an entertaining movie. He's not just, like, mm -hmm. a producer's puppet, so to speak. Right. And, um, he, there we go. Nice Bam! Nice job, nice job. He was, <clears throat> uh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. We got to do that again? But at least we know the formula. Yeah, we do. We got this. Yeah, Mike Mitchell is a good guy. Good I guy. saw him at the rap party, and I, I was like the third person to walk into the space that they rented out. And oh, uh, cool. he was standing there by himself, and uh, he kind of had this sort of this uh, this worried look on his face. And huh. uh, I was like, hey, Mike, yeah, congrats, finishing <clears> the movie, blah, blah, blah. And he kind of goes to me, uh, and he's like, because he, he had liked what I was doing, like, um, which oh, cool. is the first only director that actually noticed that I was doing cool shit. Uh -huh. um, okay, bam, okay. easy. All right. And uh, he, he looks at me, he's like, hey, so what'd you think? I'm like, what? He's like, did you think it was a good movie? Wow. Like, it was like an honest question. He actually cared. Yeah, and I was like, you know, it, whoa. Whew. Well, I thought I was going to die. I was like, you know what? It told a good story, and it did its job, you know? Mm -hmm. And and I didn't, I didn't want to bullshit and be like, oh, best Shrek amazing, ever. Amazing, amazing. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Maybe if I push this over. But uh, you know, I let him know. I was like, you know what? It was uh, it was entertaining. Yeah. And yeah. That's cool. But yeah, I could tell like, oh, this guy actually cares. Because mm -hmm. every other fucking, th I mean, <laughs> a lot of other people that I've worked with are, <laughs> are very different. No, it's cool to see that he was that and like just the ease at which you got stuff approved. Like he was so easy to please. Oh really? Which was awesome. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> well, he had yeah, big. Was... He had big picture. Like he. Ugh. That's a problem with... Here, okay, viewers. 
this is the problem with corporate animation, why there's so much bullshit out there. Well, one of the many reasons is that people don't actually make movies to make movies. They make movies to have jobs. And in order to have a job, sometimes you have to pretend like you know what you're talking about and validate your decisions by making bad ones. Just so that other people think that you're doing a good job. Yeah, But it's yeah. horseshit. Anyway, that's why but guys... But he wasn't one of those he guys. He was not. Mike Mitchell was really great. <clears throat> yeah. Well, what was cool to me was like, all he really cared about is if you got the... If you got the idea of the dialogue, he, he didn't get in there and say, move that arm five more centimeters and then and then I'll come back tomorrow and look at it again and, and tell forget you, what I said to you today right, right and then make you change everything he again. trusted you and he trusted the supervisors to to he trusted your sensibilities which was encouraging it, it made for really good morale on the show but yeah it was cool good times Fun good old times old. good, good times time with Mike Mitchell no speaking of movies dude over the holiday mm-hmm um, by the way, did everyone have a good Thanksgiving? Hey, who's fat? Leave it in the comment section. I'm fat. Hello. <clears throat> no, it was a good Thanksgiving for me. I wish we could have captured those arm movements. That, we just did. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Dude, with each word, man, you just you do a little punch. A little, little, little punch. Fist punch. pump. A little fist pump. Yeah, man. No, but dude, I watched a movie that I was convinced I was going to hate. Um, uh, Safety Not Guaranteed. Oh. Have you seen that? With uh, the, the Bobcat... Uh, the the Duplass brothers guy. Never mind. That's why I thought I would hate it. I was thinking. Oh, you're thinking of God bless America. God bless America. No. Safety not guaranteed. Safety not guaranteed. The trailer is this. It's a guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh well. Safety not guaranteed on that <laughs> one, right? Am I right? Fist bumps. Oh jeez. Okay, so maybe we should uh, we'll do a half story time and half. No, no, no. Go ahead. I, I, I can out. totally. Okay. Oh, I could just walk slower. That's what it oh, is. Oh, cool. <clears throat> no, so um. Safety not guaranteed. Oh no, I know what that is. The one about the guy who needs a partner that movie, to time travel. That movie could have been amazing. Oh, you saw it? No, but I know what it's based off of. The internet meme, which I think is awesome. Oh, really? There's a, wait, wait. What? What is that? There's an internet meme called, called "Safety Not Guaranteed," where they play like a. Push it to the limit with Scarface, and it shows a picture of this guy with a mullet and that ad in the, in the newspaper, and that's it. And it's a YT, it's a You're the Man Now dog YTMD, and it's the it was amazing. And then no way. And then Wait, I saw but the this, ad is the time travel ad. Oh, uh-huh, it's like only done this once before. But is that from the movie? No, or did no, they no. Take this, that this is like that? this is like five years ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Anyway, oh, I, I didn't. So know that. I was a huge fan of the meme, <laughs> and so I was like, I saw the trailer <laughs> for it, and I was like, oh my god, they turned it to a rom com. And to this, like, indie, wow. fuzzy... Was, I'm sure it's a good movie, but, okay, I, but well, I fucking hate it just because it could have been I, I, I get that, and I totally... That totally makes sense. And I can't... Actually, can't believe that. That's crazy. Yeah, no. But I will say, I I hate... Okay, I watch uh, the Red Letter Media guys a lot and their reviews. <clears throat> nice job. Okay. Woo. I watched the review on uh, the movie Jeff Who Lives at Home... Which is a Duplass Brothers movie, and these guys are total indie hipster guys. I hate that scene. I hate people. That's who what are, I'm saying. People who are full of themselves like that, and these guys are totally that way. So I went into this movie hating the main uh, character, but the movie was so good, and he was so good as that character that within ten minutes I was I was into it. Damn it! I was sold. That's what I was so scared. So I of. would highly recommend that movie because it is great. I was it, scared. It of is that. so good. Still, the potential for what I could have been. Well, like, I, I'm oh. saying. Well, I mean, you could go that crazy route with it because of that meme is so off the wall. Right. But however, I do feel like. <clears> but I think the movie they made out of that little meme, I'm glad they took that because man, what they made out of it was so great. I have to say though, like oftentimes Hollywood. When they take an outrageous idea, uh-huh. they oftentimes miss the mark so badly. I think we have to go... Maybe there was something we could do to the right. To the right. To the right. To the right. right. Like, Everything. Uh, okay. Like, uh, like I, okay, I, I was really psyched, like anybody else, about Snakes on a Plane. Mm-hmm. And uh, it turned out to be okay. It wasn't like as yeah. ridiculous as I imagined it was right. going to be. The same thing with... Uh, Oh damn! It's gonna make me do this again. Oh man! Or what? No, I think I'm done over there. But what? Did there was we nothing do? to do. There's nothing to do over there. Okay. So maybe, this is just survival. Maybe you turned something on. I think it was just survival. Or I, I could have just know, got man. fucking stuck in the game. Okay, that would be crazy. <clears throat> Try um, one more time. But you can't jump over that thing, and there's no, no box. Wait, I think this might be a glitch. 
<clears throat> oh my gosh! <laughs> Yeah, there's, yeah, there's no, no way no to get over way. it. You can go hit start and just go start a new chapter. On the next episode, the next we will episode, do this. We'll figure it out. We'll get it. We'll get it. <laughs>